the one thing that you can do to grow your business, get positioned as the expert and seen by your ideal clients? Hmm. I know that kind of sounds like, like, like a tough question, but it's something that every business owner needs to be thinking about. And there are 7,500 opportunities to do just that today. And as a matter of fact, there's going to be another 7,500 opportunities to do it again tomorrow. And then the next day and the next day, you get what I'm talking about. So keep listening to this show because I'm going to talk about what this 7,500 opportunities that are available to you, how you can use it in your business and get positioned as the expert so that you get known in your industry. So keep listening. You're listening to Be In Demand, the podcast for honest advice, inspiring stories, and ideas for growing your business by leveraging the expert that you are. I'm your host, Loria Mirabito, business mentor, and I'm also a reformed painfully shy girl, red wine lover, and exercise enthusiast. Join me as I share how being positioned as the expert in your industry even if it's a busy one, will help you stand out and be the one in demand to hire and work with. So it happens 7,500 times every single day. And this is a stat that most people aren't even aware of. As a matter of fact, I actually think it's much higher than 7,500 these days because 7,500 is from like the meeting planners association and conferences, 7,500 speaking opportunities every single day. And that number, that stat is just here for the US. So imagine that number globally, how many times, how many opportunities there are for you to be tapping into audiences that are filled with your ideal clients. Now, the first thing that I'm sure that's coming to your mind is, but I don't have any experience speaking and that's okay. You don't have to worry about that. As a matter of fact, that's exactly how I grew my business. When I left my corporate job, I had zero speaking experience. You know, I might have spoken at trade shows in front of or in front of customers when demoing equipment, but I didn't have any experience putting together presentations and speaking at meetings by any means. But I raised my hand and I did say yes. Now, for a reformed, for a shy girl, I should say, for a shy girl, that was really difficult for me to do. But I did it anyways because my passion for helping people was greater than my excuse of shyness. So why am I telling you all this? Because even though, because I overcame my shyness and raised my hand to speak, even though I wasn't very good, it's what attracted the perfect clients to me. As a matter of fact, it's really, it's almost like, uh, like a magnetic form of marketing. Literally people are, were drawn to me, came up to me after I spoke and asked me, how do I work with you? Are there ways to work with you? Do you work with private clients? Now, if that's something that you're looking to do, you want to start taking advantage of that 7,500 opportunities that are happening today. Now, before these past couple of years, I would break that down into 50 states you know, today. So that would come out to roughly 150 opportunities to speak today. And because I'm so close to the Massachusetts and Boston border, actually not Boston's not really a border, but because I'm so close to Mass to Boston itself, but because I'm so close to the border, I would look at that and say, I have 150 opportunities in Massachusetts as well. So that would mean 300 opportunities. However, the virtual audience and the virtual speaker is not going away. And as a matter of fact, there is a beautiful way, and I've been seeing it in a lot of my private clients, how they are able to tap into audiences and never leave their home office. How wonderful is that, that you can actually impact people across the globe and not have to jump on an airplane and deal with jet lag. So I think that that's a win-win situation for the audience, the meeting planner, and for you. So you might be saying, but I'm not a professional speaker. You don't have to be a professional speaker. There is literally an association for everything out there. And that means that association, if you find the right ones that have your ideal clients, then you are speaking to audiences that are basically pre-qualified leads for you. But those 7,500, well, let me not breeze over that that too quickly because you're probably like, 
oh, wow, I never thought about it that way. Because when I say that there's literally an association for everything, you know, when you go to the circus and there's somebody blowing up those long, thin balloons and they make them into animals. Yeah, there's an association for that. There's an association for landscapers, for electricians, for residential electricians, for commercial electricians, for electrical company type, like CEOs. There are associations for everything out there. So it's a matter of tapping into and finding the right associations that have your ideal clients in them. And that's something that I teach in my Get Book to Speak Masterclass. So if you want more information about that, I highly recommend, I'll make sure that a link is down below, that you check that out for the next time that I'm actually running it. I'm actually going to be running it sometime soon, at least when this podcast is coming out, but it will depend on when you are actually listening to this podcast. So definitely jump on that and get on the wait list if their wait list is open so that you'll be notified the very next time that I am running this particular masterclass. Now, this 7,500, you know, to be able to get in front of your ideal audience, that is the magic strategy to building any business, you know, whether you're a brick and mortar, whether you're online, whether you're a coach, a consultant, it's a matter of you getting in front of the right people who can raise their hand and say, yes, I need what you have. You are speaking right to my problem and I need that solution now. So how do I learn more about you? And when you're that person who is highlighted as the speaker, you know, you're positioned as an expert and let's face it. People hire experts. A few years ago, I actually had, my roof had to be replaced. And I brought in several people to actually give me an estimate, to look at the problem, let me, like, tell me what they thought was the problem, you know, and it gave me an opportunity to really get to like, how did they show up? How did they talk to me? You know, what was, what, what are some of their values, you know? And so I was able to pick the right person for my roof. Now, was he the cheapest? No, but I felt safest with him. The roof is done. The roof is great. And I'm very happy with the whole process, but he was positioned as the expert. Did I meet him at, at an event? No, I didn't. I actually got his name through a referral, but brought in a few other people. But had, had I gone to like some sort of a meeting where, where maybe a general contractor was talking about roofs and about how you would go about replacing your roof, you know, I would be like paying attention to that because he's probably going to give me some information so that I can ask the right questions when somebody's in front of me. And the exact same thing happens for you. When you are positioned as the expert, people are going to ask you questions. They're going to ask you questions, not only about your services, but a little bit deeper about how do I know when it's time for me to hire somebody like you? So essentially what you're doing, not only are you positioned as the expert, but you are building a relationship with somebody and you're building a relationship with an audience of people at once. You know, I kind of consider speaking is sort of is not sort of, it is like a group sales call, but it's really a way for you to build that know, like, and trust with a bunch of people at one time. And you're going to have people who are going to raise their hand and say, I want to know more. And I want to take that next step and just build that relationship with you. I want to follow you on social. I want to get on your email list. But all of that wouldn't have happened if you didn't say yes to speaking, to being that expert in the front of the room. But how do you find those 7,500? Well, that's exactly what you get to learn inside my Get Book to Speak Masterclass. I literally pull back the curtain and show people exactly how to do research, the exact tools that I use, and the exact template that I send people. Now, I just want to touch a little bit on this template. Not only does it work, but also it's a template that you can basically look at it, read it, and you can use it on Facebook posts. 
Have you ever seen those posts where somebody says, hey, I'm doing a sub summit on this particular topic. Let me in, or here's a list of topics. Let me know if you would be a great speaker, if you're an expert who can talk on these topics. And you hear a bunch of people go, me, 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 me. Well, think about it. When you just raise your hand and say me, the person who's organizing this, which is like a meeting planner, they don't have any information about you. You're just another hand raise, but there is a way to use the template that I give you to use in those posts so that you start a conversation. So there are a couple of different ways that you can go about getting, pitching yourself to speak at meetings, conferences, all sorts of different organizations, whether it's a podcast or somebody's high-end mastermind or a private community, like a membership. But it's, I believe in starting the conversation, not just saying, hey, here are all the great reasons why you actually should hire me, but raising your hand and just, or I should say, extending your hand to say, hi, I just wanna learn a little bit more about you about your process for hiring speakers and this template that i give my clients and also my students that attend the get booked to speak masterclass it works because it starts that conversation and i cannot tell you like having a podcast myself how many people pitch me to be on my podcast and it's i look at these pitches and they're so long like do People are busy. They really don't want to be reading these lengthy podcasts and they all start off the same. Hi, I represent this particular person. They're an expert. It's all about them. And they haven't made it about me, the person who would be bringing them on to be a guest. I use that exact same philosophy about making it about somebody else. So they'll remember you in my pitches and when I am reaching out to organizations, you know, to, to see like, Hey, how can I add value to your conference, to your meeting, to your summit? I want to start that conversation first. And that's one of the things that I really dive into with all of my clients is let's make it about them and less about you at first. So that's just one of the things that you'll learn inside the Get Booked to Speak Masterclass. Along with, I share all the resources. Any of my programs, if you've ever taken any of my programs, I'm like an open book, literally an open book. I will share with you. I am so transparent. Here's what I do. Here's what I've done. And then I just tell people like modify it for your situation. Because at the end of the day, these templates, these scripts that I give you to use in email, to use on Facebook posts, to use in LinkedIn posts, but also to use on the phone, I want you to make sure that they also sound like you. So it's just a starting off point. It's a dialogue. How do you start that dialogue? And there's also two different templates, by the way. One is for your warm market And the other is for a cold market when you are really reaching out to somebody who doesn't even know who you are. So that's just a couple of the things that are inside the Get Book to Speak Masterclass. So if this sounds like something that you're wondering, how do I get in front of those associations? Because I'm a coach, I'm a consultant, I'm a done-for-you service-based professional. Like my business is, I'm either a virtual assistant, I'm a web designer, I'm a brand expert, I'm an image consultant, all of those, those done for you. You know, there are groups of people who are looking for you. There are meeting planners, 7,500 of them every single day that are looking for speakers, speakers on the topic that you speak about. And you've heard me say before, because this comes from one of my mentors, but the world needs you. And there's an audience that is waiting to hear from you. Now, if this sounds like something that that you want to learn more about, like I said, that link will be down in the show notes. 
But if you're just listening to this or you're watching this right here on YouTube, it is speakandstandout.com forward slash masterclass. And that's where you'll learn more information about this one. But if you're looking to have more of that one-on-one, you're not a group program person and you want to know more about my programs and my coaching program and how I can best support you so that you can get positioned as the expert attract your ideal clients and monetize your authority, then reach on out to me at chatwithla.com and book a call with me and we'll have a conversation. I'll ask you some questions about your business, about your goals, and then I'll share with you the right program, the different ways to work with me that I think is best for you. So until next time and next week, be in demand. Thanks for hanging out with me. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And join me over in my private Facebook group for more tips, community, and free trainings. You'll find the link in the show notes. You can also help this podcast reach more listeners by leaving a review. And as a thank you, each month I pick one of my reviewers to win a free coaching call with me. So if you haven't done so already, please leave a review and you could be the next winner.